Hi, uh, as you all know, this is Ben from WAW. Um, I just want to thank you for your questions. I'll try and get through them as best that I can. How long have you been wrestling? And I've been wrestling for nearly 10 years now. It's been an absolute roller coaster. I've loved every minute of it. Um, I started quite late in life, um, which brings me on to the next question. How did you, how did you get in wrestling? How did I start? I started wrestling because um, my daughter started with our kids class and she was enjoying it so much. I just thought, you know what, I'm going to give this a go. Um, she progressed and she's moved on now to our adults division. She's the youngest ever British uh, ladies champion. She took that record from Paige of all people. Um, so yeah, she's, she's accomplished a lot. And that's the reason I started because she was enjoying it so much. So I thought, uh, why not give it a go? I've always wanted to do it, so I bit the bullet, and here we are nearly 10 years later. Who's your favourite wrestler? Who's my favourite wrestler of all time? Now, this is, uh, this is always a tricky one to answer, and I think most wrestlers struggle to answer this because we've got so many, because we all got into it for a reason, and generally those reasons are because we've watched it as a kid or we've got someone to aspire to be. For me... Getting into it as a kid was all about the, the bright colours and the larger than life characters. And there was no one larger than life than Hulk Hogan when I was growing up. So Hulk Hogan was the one for me that got me interested, got me into it. But since then, there have been so many that have come and gone and that I've enjoyed watching and I've enjoyed what they do. But my probably my favourite entertainer at the moment is someone that isn't a wrestler and it's Paul Heyman. Um, purely because he's magic on a microphone and he draws you into every word that he says and the stories that he puts across and the way that he manipulates an audience and it's fantastic and I, I love watching his work. What, what's the worst injury you had in the match? The worst injury I've ever had, there's been a few. Um, last year, I lost a title because I ruptured my medial ligament in my knee. Uh, that was a few weeks out, um, not as long as I thought it was going to be. I recovered quite quickly, gladly. Um, I've still got a floating bone in my back from a couple of years ago when I took an awkward bump off a ladder. Um, that was awkward. Um, what else? Uh, I'm not sure if this came from wrestling or not, but it's, since I've been wrestling, I've had legitimate brain surgery. I've, had, I've got a tumour in the back of my head uh, and I've been to Adam Brooks and had the tumour shrunk. I couldn't take it out because of where it is. Um, we don't know if it's anything to do with wrestling in the hospital, don't know what it's come from. So they're the, they're the main ones. Then you've got the little niggles. Oh, I've also um, dislocated my clavicle both clavicles, they're gone. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a few little things to look out for. Everything we do is extremely dangerous. Um, everything we do is very real. It's very dangerous. Um, so don't try this at home. What was your favorite wrestling match? My personal favorite match that I've ever done. Um, <sighs> There was one that always sticks out to me, and it'll, I'll always remember it. And it was um, at a charity event that we had for Zach, and when Zach was struggling a bit, um, and I wrestled his nephew PJ Knight. It was in a tournament for the world championship. I lost it, but um, that was the match that'll always stick out for me. For me, starting to believe in myself and believing that I could be credible within wrestling, and and. PJ got me through that match and we, you know, it was, it was outstanding. And we, I've always looked really fondly back on that match. Since then, uh, another match that I've really enjoyed, I wrestled Tony Knight in a blindfold match, which was so much fun, so much fun. It was great. It was really good fun. Um, RKJ always brings me up to levels that I never knew I had. He's, he's outstanding to wrestle against. And Zach himself, you know, uh, I've wrestled Zach a few times now, and he's just an absolute master. His ring craft is unbelievable, and he's what we all aspire to be. His brother Roy, fantastic. Um, Roy definitely tests you cardio and gets you running around. Um, and then there is the absolute master, which is Rowdy Ricky Knight, um, who I'm wrestling against at Burton Street at some point.
Um, don't know the actual match structure yet, but I know that I'm in team step out of the ring um, against Ricky Knight's right squad. So I know that Ricky's on the other team, um, but he's he's just a legend. You know, he's been around so long now, and you learn something every time you get in the ring with him. And it's it's fantastic to go against well the whole Knight family in general. Really, there there's every time you get in the ring is like an education, and it's fantastic. If you could wrestle anyone, who would it be? Who would I love to wrestle? Oh, do you know, every time you step in the ropes, or every time you step through the ropes, sorry, it's a, it's a blessing. It's because you never know which match is going to be your last one because everything we do is so high risk. So I treat every single match as if it could be the last one and, and like an absolute blessing. So I've achieved what I wanted to achieve when I started in terms of wrestling Zach in a singles match. Um, I've done that. I've wrestled against Joseph Connors, who's ex who used to be in NXT UK. Um, I really enjoyed that. If I could handpick anybody from history that I could wrestle, I'd probably say Bret Hart or Mr. Perfect, just because their storytelling and the way they execute things and just the, I, it's my style, you know, Bret especially is that's my style. I like I like that that style of wrestling rather than the high flying crazy style. I like to get down and ground wrestle and do some mat wrestling and the technical side of it. So Bret Hart probably if I could handpick. What is your signature move? My signature move, I've got two that I use mainly. Uh, one is a kamikaze roll where I have my opponent on my shoulders and I basically do a roly poly and dump them on their back. Um, the other one is caught, it's a springboard spear, which I call a nemesis spear, um, coming from my ring name. Um, so it's a, it's a nemesis spear. And basically I jump onto the ropes and spring back at them and spear them out of the sky. What props do you like to use in the ring? In terms of props, I used to be in a tag team called the Senior Citizens and one of the props that we used a lot was a walking stick. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, we ended up being world tag champs and it was, that was a great time in my life. Loved it. I loved being in the Senior Citizens. Um, I tend not to use props. Um, I have done some hardcore matches. I've done a chain match. Uh, one of the hardcore matches I did, I actually used a beer barrel as a weapon. Um, that was uh, that was innovative. Um, so uh, yeah, I've used a few. I don't really like using them um, because it's again, it's not my style. Uh, the only prop I really bring to the ring uh, consistently is a towel. Uh, so I, I bring a towel and a bottle of water just as a throwback to the old nineteen eighties world of sport days. So that's that, that's what I use really. Are you single? Am I single? Yes. Are you looking forward to Burton Street? I am so looking forward to coming to Burton Street. It is, it's been such a long time coming now. Ever since I found out what Zara was doing for us um, with raising money for the walk that she was doing and how inspirational Zara is, getting to Burton Street has been top of my agenda. And it's coming. It's just around the corner. It's we're a week away, you know, and it, I'm looking forward to it so much. And I know that everybody else is as well. Everybody's looking to come down, whether they're good guy, bad guy, referee, MC. You know, if we're bringing merch sellers with us, everybody's looking forward to coming up. Uh, we're not looking forward to the journey so much because it's awful road from Norwich to Sheffield. But when we get there, we know we're going to have a great time. We know we're going to be looked after and we know you guys are going to be absolutely crazy and noisy and mental and give us the best welcome. So we are looking forward to it so much. Hello, what is you this then? I do have a stage name. My stage name is Nemesis. It was something that was given to me by Zach when I first started. Um, when you start, you don't know which direction you're going to go in. So the, the bosses, the trainers, the coaches, they kind of give you a direction and then see if you can pick up the ball and run with it, basically. If not, they'll change it and give you something that is more suited to you. Uh, they gave me the character Nemesis when I first started. Um, that is my ring name, and it has been ever since. Uh, it's changed a couple of times, um, but only in variation of Nemesis. It's never gone away from that. Um, and it is essentially 
you know, it is what it is. I, I'm, I'm someone's problem. That's what I am. Um, uh, and it's stood me in good stead and, uh, I've enjoyed the character. Um, and long may it continue. Thank you so much for all the questions. I've really enjoyed answering them and I'm really looking forward to meeting you all. So get your tickets, make sure you're at Burton Street on the 8th of April for our massive show, Step Into The Ring, where it'll be Team Step Into The Ring, including Zach Zodiac, myself and Marvel Marcus and a couple of other guests against Ricky Knight's Riot Squad, where it's be Ricky Knight plus four of his cronies, his friends, his pals, and we'll see who comes out victorious. I'll see you there, 8th of April.